Pittsburgh Steelers choose Arthur Smith as their new offensive coordinator, and the question remains, why didn't they go with someone that breeds more of a more modern offense? Are there some issues within the personnel of the Pittsburgh Steelers that prevents them from doing a more complex pass game? Welcome back to Mike Drop Sports, everybody. I'm Jason. Let's talk about the Steelers and their new hire, their new offensive coordinator, Arthur Smith, the guy that was the Atlanta Falcons head coach that went 7-2. 10 or whatever he was, but he was under 500 each of his three seasons. And that doesn't scream out to you if you're a Steelers fan uh, of a quality guy that's coming in here that's going to breathe new life into this offense and make you real optimistic as, as things are going to just take off. But then you look back at his Tennessee Titans days where he was a, a machine with the Tennessee Titans, getting them to the AFC Championship game with a newfound way of playing offense. And they weren't really quite the same after Arthur Smith left. And the guys within that building were really sad that he did go and went to Atlanta to become the head coach. So now we sit with Arthur Smith, and do I say that this is a, a great hire that I'm super pumped about? Absolutely not. I don't think so. But could he do well? Yes, because the Steelers play that brand of football, that smash mouth brand of football, that brand of football to where it's play action pass, run the football, and just jam it down your throat. And that's the style of football Mike Tomlin has wanted to play his whole entire career as the Pittsburgh Steelers head man. But the question remains, as I said whenever I was starting this video, that the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, puzzled me in this situation whenever they didn't go with a guy that provides a more complex West Coast style uh, passing game. A game that moves the football in big chunks, that is exciting, that scores high amounts of points. That's where I'm puzzled with the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's where I'm wondering why they didn't do that. But I've heard a couple shows, I heard a couple media guys in Pittsburgh, I won't mention any names because I'm not sure if this is really what they were trying to say, but it sure seemed like it to me, and it sure seemed that they were insinuating that the Pittsburgh Steelers personnel right now on offense, especially hit the wide receiver spot, isn't intelligent enough to run that type of complexity inside of their offense. Is that the case? Is that what we're looking at? Are these guys that are around this team all the time, every day, saying that the Pittsburgh Steelers couldn't run that style of offense due to the um, unintelligence of these guys? Is that the truth? I'm not sure. I'm not around them every day, so I couldn't give you that definitive answer. This is what other people have said. So do the Pittsburgh Steelers, when they're interviewing these guys to be the offensive coordinator, do they ask themselves, the personnel that we have, are they intelligent enough? Are they able to run this style of offense? Now, maybe if you ask these guys that said this, and I'm sure some of you have watched some of these shows, so maybe you could figure out who I'm talking about. And if you went and posed the question to these guys, they would say, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that they just can't do it. And they would try to cover their tracks, but they really did say this. They really did insinuate this. If you ask me, if you go back and you watch some of these shows and you listen to what they're saying, they're basically saying, hey, I'm just not sure. I don't think that they can really do this. I don't think that the Steelers personnel has the ability, we'll use that word instead of unintelligent, the ability to run that style of offense. And that makes me wonder, why would you even bring those guys into the building anyway, if that's the case? If you're doubting their abilities, if you're doubting their abilities to be able to run a complex system at the NFL level, what would you brought them in for? Yes, athletic ability counts for 90% of this thing, but there has to be that 10% heart and 10% uh, you know, mixed in with some intelligence. <laughs> you have to have it. You have to have that work ethic, that drive to be in the in the uh, war room there, studying and breaking down tape, looking at how this how defenses are coming at you, being able to spruce up your routes in a more complex way, getting on the same page as your quarterback, and trying to figure out new and innovative ways to move the football. That's what you have to be doing at the NFL level. And if the Pittsburgh Steelers aren't willing to do that, is that why we always see the brand of football that we do? Smash mouth, hard hit you in the face, muddy, muddy type football. Is that what we see? Is that why we see this all the time? I'm not sure. 
But I'm really asking myself the question since yesterday and since hearing this, since hearing of the hire of Arthur Smith, is this why truly the Steelers went in that direction? Are the Steelers not confident in their person now? And will this cause a problem once news like this gets out there? Will this cause some sort of distension down through the ranks of these guys saying, well, wait a minute, I can do that. I can run a more complex passing offense. I can make more intelligent decisions. My abilities run deeper than you think. <laughs> it's just, it's really a thing that now that I'm looking at it, it's really, I'm starting to question it. And I'm starting to really wonder if that be the truth. I'm not saying that it is. Again, I don't know these guys personally. I don't see them every day like some of these guys do. But when you let on as a guy or guys or girls that let on in their shows, people that are around them all the time that see how they practice, see how they play uh, around them, speaking to them, uh, can gauge their level of ability, their level of mental ability, their level of understanding of these offenses and defenses. <laughs> I mean... They're really basically saying that they can't do it. And if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers and you're that front office staff and you're Mike Tomlin, what would possess you to ever bring those types of people into the building anyway? And if you do get them into the building, what makes you keep them? I'm not saying that you can't have a guy that maybe can't do it all, maybe on the intellectual part of it. But he is an absolute athletic freak. Yes, you need a guy like that. You need a guy that you can throw the ball up to and just bomb it and chuck it. And he's going to go get it. I get that. But you need some guys inside of that offense that are able to run precision routes. That are able to break off of routes when plays break down. Able to help their quarterback in ways uh, that some others can't. When you see a guy, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not saying uh, that they're special or anything like that, but I'm gonna use an example of the Kansas City Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. They feel each other. They break down defenses. They know what defenses are gonna do, and you can see that the level of ability on that field mentally is superior. They are able to break things down in a way that others cannot, and they can find the open holes because they know what's going on with the opposing defense and they are able to work inside of that complex passing offense of Andy Reid that creates opportunity and if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers you're looking at yourself now and saying do I do I have that guy do I have those guys on the roster do I have any of those guys on the roster in the past game and if you're a quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers, do you become frustrated because you have to run a more simple style offense, a more simple passing game concept? Does that really rattle you if you were the quarterback to know that you really can't rely on these guys in some complex situations to where you have to do different things and draw things up on the fly? <laughs> I'm just wondering. These are questions I want answered, and I'm not sure that I have those answers. But maybe some of you do that watch this team. Do you feel that these guys are not on that level? Do you feel that these guys aren't able to perform at that complex level, that level of pass game that really gets things going, that makes teams elite and superior? Do, do the Steelers have those guys on the roster? Do you think that the Steelers' top two wide receivers in particular, because that's really what we're talking about, do you think those guys have the intellectual ability to be able to process what is going on quickly enough to be able to do the things necessary to get open in more complex situations? And not just that ground and pound, stuff it in your face, throw the ball up here and there and hope for the best. I'm just saying, when you're looking at modern day NFL, Offenses, modern day NFL offenses, the route tree is bigger than ever, more complex than ever. There are more um, breakdowns and break offs of option routes that, than ever before. These guys are running routes that have five or six different patterns inside of one route call. 
instead of inside of one play call. These option routes are available to these guys to be able to look at a defense and understand where they are coming from, or at least have a pretty good guess or a pretty good understanding of what they're going to do in order to break it down to be able to run what route is dictates that or that defense dictates what route they're going to run they're going to run a five yard slant now because the safety is pulled back and the corner is playing off coverage now you have that cushion to be able to run that five yard slant that's just a that's just a a an example I'm not saying that that's super complex because it's not. It's just an example. Instead of, hey, I got a guy that's playing press to safety. They're playing one high safety. Uh, that safety is probably going to double up on the other side against uh, George Pickens. If I'm Deontay Johnson, now I might have that go route. Now I could be able to option out of my uh, drag route that I was going to run. Instead, I'm going to run the go now and Kenny Pickett or whoever, Mason Rudolph, whoever is the quarterback of the Steelers at the time, they understand that that safety uh, moving over to double up on George, leaving the one-on-one -on -one in the single high safety look is going to uh, uh, make it available for Deontay to, to run that go. Do these guys have that ability? Those are the things I'm asking. Do they have that ability to be able to check in and out of different routes? That's the questions we're asking each other, guys. Those are what we're looking at now. Those things are what we're looking at now that the Steelers have went ahead and hired Arthur Smith, a guy that is going to run the football and run the shit out of play-action pass. That is his game. That is the way he is. Maybe he changes. Maybe he switches things up. Maybe he adds some wrinkles. And maybe all this is a mute point. But I have to ask the question, and I want to know what you guys think about the Steelers' ability to be able to run those complex offenses. The Steelers' ability on offense to have those types of players. Do they have them, or do they need to find them? That's the question that we're asking today, and I want you guys to put that in the comments, and I want you guys to, to really let me know what you think about all this. And if you heard some of these people out there talking, some of these media guys uh, talking about this and insinuating this very thing, let me know what you thought about that and if it, you think it's true or if you think it's just bullshit. So let me know. Uh, that's about it for today, but I just really wanted to bring that up. It's been eating at me since I heard it yesterday, a couple times, not more, just once, more than once. Uh, so it's not just one media person. I'm not trying to pin that down on one media person. So it's more than one and more than one person that's been around this team on a daily basis or a, a good bit. So, um, maybe they should know, maybe they do know. So, load up the comments, guys. Don't forget to like the videos. That really helps us jump in that YouTube algorithm in here in the offseason. That's even more important because we um, are needing those likes to get out there and get our message around. So, uh, spread the show. Share, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff if you're not already. And uh, until next time, I'm Jason, and this is Mike Drop Sports. Peace.